Hello everyone, today I'm going to talk to you about the value of asking yourself good questions. Now, when you're asked a question or you ask yourself a question, your brain automatically starts to come up with answers and solutions to that question. Um, your brain does this as a way of evaluating things. Your brain, you, you do this consciously and subconsciously. So, subconsciously, you ask yourself questions all the time. And questions that you ask yourself really determine what you focus on and what you focus on really plays and makes a huge impact on how you're feeling, whether you're feeling depressed, whether you're feeling frustrated or helpless, or you're feeling empowered and solution-oriented or happy. Um, if you ask yourself lousy questions, then you're going to come up with lousy answers. Um, for instance, if you ask questions like, why does this always happen to me, your brain is automatically going to start to come up with answers to that, whether these answers happen to be helpful or not. Um, for example, let's say this guy um, keeps striking out with the ladies, and he asks himself, why does this always happen to me? What is wrong with me? Um, just questions that aren't very useful, but nonetheless his brain's going to come up with, uh, with answers to those questions, and he might say to himself, he happens to be balding, let's say, and he says to himself, oh, it must be because I'm balding, um, because I'm bald I'm not able to attract women, that must be it. And I guess I'm just going to be alone for the rest of my life. Obviously, that belief is not very good. It's not very useful. And if you think about it, it's, it's something completely made up in his head. It's a limiting belief that's completely made up that holds him back. Because if you think about it, there's plenty of people that, um, that are bald and can attract women or bald men that are in relationships. So that belief that he has in his head, that insecurity, is holding him back and it's not even real. And um, humans, us, like everyone does this. Everyone has these insecurities. Everyone ha has asked themselves lousy questions like, why does this happen to me? What is wrong with me? Insecure questions like that that led us to very limiting beliefs. Um, so, I guess like, what, what's better is to ask maybe outcome-oriented questions or questions that are based more on solutions rather than worrying about a problem. Let's say you have a fear. A fear of, um, you're, I don't know how I'm going to pay my children's college, I'm really worried about it every day, how, like, what am I going to, and instead of being in that worry state, you might ask yourself, what will I need to do in order to make, save enough money for my children's college by the time they're old enough to go there? And from a question like that, Still, yeah, it's going to be hard, but you're, but you're in a place where you could actually start to come up with answers to that problem. You might say, the person might say, oh, I'm, I might have to take a second job. That's not, maybe not ideal, but it's a solution, like it's a better solution than just sitting there worrying in this, like, emotional state of worry. You could say, well, I might have to take a second job, and then... I might not like it or appreciate the long hours, but it will be okay if I do a second job. Or maybe it's, oh, we're going to have to make some cuts on our budget. From that point, you come up with solutions, and you're more in power from this place. Um, another question I really like is, what can I learn from this? Instead of being like, why does this always happen to me? Or, why do people always treat me this way? You could say, like, say you went through a big failure. You wanted to accomplish something, you weren't able to accomplish it, and you say, what's wrong with me? Why does this always happen to me? Not useful, again, because if you're like, 
what's wrong with me, then you find something that's wrong with you that's holding your back, and then you believe it to be true. And it's some weird thing that you made up. You're like, oh, I'm not, because I'm lazy, I'm not motivated enough. It's just not me. It's just not who I am. Silly stuff like that that might be holding you off from your goal. Instead, you you don't reach your goal or your outcome that you desire or whatever, and you say to yourself, what can I learn from this? What can I take away from this? And you start to realize that, hey, maybe there is something I could take away. Maybe there's a skill I learned, or maybe there's something I learned that I shouldn't do ever again, a mistake that, hey, I know to avoid that next time. Um, how could I grow from this? Like, there's even, like, a lot of empowering questions you could ask yourself, like, what am I grateful for? If you're depressed and angry all the time, you might be just focused on why my life sucks and what's bad about it, rather than, hey, do you ever sit down yourself? What, what is good about my life? Maybe you're not in the greatest financial situation, but if you ask yourself, what is good about my life? You might say, well, I have really good friends, or I'm... I really like that I'm a compassionate person. And that just asking those questions lets you focus. And if you if you really answer those questions, then by the time you're done, I'm sure you'll be in at least a better state than you were when you were like, oh, why does this happen to me? Why? Blah, 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 blah. If you ask yourself, what's good about my life? What am I grateful for? I'm grateful that I'm able to go to the grocery store and buy food that it's available for me to eat. Like in parts of the world they don't they can't even have clean water. Like I'm grateful to live in a free country and have friends that support me every day and I'm not in fear of my life. Maybe like there's parts of the country where war is going on. Um, I'm grateful that that's not happening and I do have a lot of freedom and choice. Like, people complain about the economy, but instead of being like, why is the economy so bad? You could say, well, what can I do in this, with my life? Like, what can I contribute to the world? What can I make possible? How could I help another person? Just things like that. And, and another one I really like is, how could I make today fun or a really good time? Like, say you might be insecure, you're throwing your first party at your first house, um, or something like that, and you might be like, well, will people have fun? Um, are, are people going to be bored and leave? Like, is this going to be a good time? Or, and you ask questions like this, you might be worried the whole time, but you get there, the, the by the time people get there, maybe it won't be as fun as it could have been. Maybe you're worried the whole time, so you're not very good company. Um, and maybe it turns out okay. Like, who knows? But if you ask yourself, how could I make this party as fun as I possibly can? And from that point, your mind will start to generate answers. Um, if you think about it, then you might be like, well, games are fun. Maybe we could have games. Well, what games can we play? Well, I have Pictionary. I have a deck of cards. We could play drinking games. I have a whiteboard. We could play Hangman. <laughs> or something, you know what I mean? Uh, just, you know. Yeah, power of questions. Um, use it. Ask yourself good questions. Yeah. Alright, peace.